Canva.com is a great service that enables you to create artwork and you'll be able to use that to create the disc artwork or the CD or DVD case graphic overwrap artwork for Trapstar.com. First go to Canva.com, pick one of these categories and sign in with Facebook or create an account. When you've created an account, the first thing you want to do is create a design here. Use custom dimensions. You can play around and look at some of these business cards and cards and flyers, but there isn't one made already for a CD or a DVD case, so we're going to use custom dimensions to create the artwork for Trapstar. This is an example of a DVD case, and this is an example of a CD image artwork, the disc artwork itself. First, we're going to start out by creating a new disc artwork. This is for CDs or DVDs. What we want to do is click the Use Custom Dimensions. And the width of the disc artwork on the Trapstar template lists it as 1425 by 1425. On the Trapstar artwork templates, you'll see here 1425 by 1425. We always want to use a square image. When we create that design, the first thing it's going to prompt us with is creating or picking a background. So scroll through here and try to find a background you like. Otherwise, you can upload any images you want from your system, and you could use those as backgrounds. I'm just going to grab one here. It's free. And what we can do, what's nice about it, is it has some text already listed here. You can rearrange this, we can move this a little bit, type in something you want. If this was a circular image, this isn't going to quite fit, so we want to move this up. You kind of get the idea here how that works. So you can type in anything you want, change it however you want, and when you're all finished, we're going to publish it. And what you want to do is just simply download that as a JPEG file and it's going to prepare it and download that to our system. And a little later we'll do a DVD case and a CD case uh, overwrap. Now once you have that, you, you will have that on your, your computer and you can then upload that to the Trapstar project. We're going to continue on and show you how to design a DVD case overwrap using the correct Trapstar dimensions. So once again, we're going to use custom dimensions. We're going to flip over to the Trepstar art templates, and we'll see right here, we're going to click on that just to show it. It's 3225 by 2175. So be sure to write that down because it's easy to forget. 3225, 2175. It's important to pick that initial dimension because any background artwork that you add to it has to be large enough to fill the entire page. So we're going to pick one of these ones that say free. Now I'm, again, you if you have artwork of your own but you're just not sure how to get it, add text to it and so on, you would upload your artwork um, to this system and then you'll be able to pick it. And this is good but we want to move it over a little bit. Let's say we want to change some of this text. So this is like back of the DVD case. You can add text by just simply adding a text box. It put it right here. We're going to move that around. So right, it's very small to begin with, but up here we're going to change it to a larger font. The reason it's so small is because we have a large size uh, DVD case background image. It was, you know, 3225 pixels is fairly large, so that's why a lot of this initial uh, text size is small. You can choose a different font. It shows you different uh, styles that you can pick. You can change coloring, text colors, whether it's bold, all that kind of good stuff. So you can modify all these text boxes. You can move them around. You can delete them. And that's how you can add text to a background image. When you're all finished, once again, you would publish it. We want to download that. We don't want to download as a PNG, but as a JPEG. And it's going to prepare that.
and now go back to our home page and this shows us all of the products that we've made so far a couple of disc images there's a DVD case and here's the one we just made it's generating a preview it has to put all that together so the next step we're going to show you is the dimensions for the CD2 panel image which can be used for the USB cases as well so we go back to the Trepstar our templates and we see that there is a two panel there's also a back tray and if you have a DVD case there's an inside if you want to use it but for CD cases both for the USB eco mailer the CD style casing for the USB or a regular CD jewel case this also is the template to use it's the right height and width it is 2850 2 by 1425 so we'll write that down and we'll switch over to our design and use that custom dimension which now will be the correct size of 288 I'm sorry 2850 by 1425 and once we're done with that we've got the right height and width and a lot of these backgrounds are picked because of their similar dimension but these are just generic background images and probably won't apply to what you're trying to make so that's once again where you might upload images um, this shows you different images you can pick from their library but you can upload ones to, from your computer and they'll be then listed here and you can add them we're not going to do that right now we're just going to use some of their generic ones so we'll just take this one for example because it's free now this one doesn't quite fit so we'll have to stretch it out that might mean you will lose a little bit of quality in terms of the print quality so just keep that in mind you want an image that would initially be the full height and width and we're just going to simply add some text the front is here and the back is here so we're going to add some text to the two panel image as we can see here it will be folded so when you actually see it this would be on the front when the, the, the CD case is closed and this would be the inside panel for a CD case it, if it's a folded equal mailer for USB this would be the back and it's just folded but this is the front section of the CD case so as we're designing this we're going to just maybe dr drag some text over here and we're going to say you know front and this would be where you would um, enter text related to your CD title so this would end up on the front of your CD case when it's finalized you'd be viewing it closed and see this half now on the back you're gonna see this whole section so you would want to customize this a lot of times there's not much on the back or the inside panel this is actually the inside panel but for a USB eco mailer it's the back let me show you that quickly when we're looking at this two panel image you can look at some examples so here's some CD DVD case examples this is the front panel of a CD case this would be the inside artwork I want to show you the USB art examples because that shows the same thing what's happening is it's going to be folded so this is the inside panel this is the front uh, this is also the front and this would be the inside panel that's why they're just simply folded so that's why they're twice as wide as they are tall now you're going to want to continue customizing this you can adjust the font size the font style coloring all that and add other text boxes and images as you see fit once you're finished then you're going to publish that download it and as a JPEG and you will always have these when you log in you can edit them and then republish them as a JPEG if you want to make changes once you're finished and you have that JPEG image on your computer you're going to upload that directly to the Trapstar project I'll show you how to do that next 
we're going to just go back to the home page just to show our section again. So we've made a few things. We made the other DVD case. We just made a CD two panel image, which is uh, going to continue to build here in the in their dashboard. It's not ready yet. But now we're going to flip over to Trepstar and then upload one of these images to our project. Now that we've logged into a Trepstar test account here, we're looking at a USB project that has the two panel equal mailer. If you had a CD case, we would still be using the same two panel artwork. We're going to configure the project, look at the, in this case, the folded two panel artwork. If you have a CD case, it's going to be called the CD case two panel artwork. We're going to upload that image here and pick the image that we saved on our computer. I'm going to sort by date. And I, this is our CD case two panel image that we created. We're going to upload that and it's going to show how it's completed. And we're going to continue editing our project. Now that we're back into the edit project, you can kind of see how it's going to look. Obviously, this got split in half. You could move this around or pick a different background. Normally, you'd be using chunks of your own artwork, so that works a little better. We can click here to view it a little closer. It's a USB image, so it's the logo we haven't changed, but we have changed the front and the back of the two panel image. So that's how you upload them directly to Trepstar. Each project would have a different type of artwork.